Welcome to a webcast made by the Learning Enhancement Team based in the Dean of Students Office at the University of East Anglia. This webcast is part of the Steps into Calculus series and concerns integrating basic functions. This guide will show you how to identify and integrate five basic functions. Introduction Many complicated functions can be broken down into combinations of these five elementary functions. The power function y equals ax to the power n, the sine function y equals a multiplied by the sine of kx, the cosine function y equals a multiplied by the cosine of kx, the exponential function y equals a multiplied by e to the kx, and the natural logarithm function y equals a multiplied by the natural logarithm of kx. The fact sheet five basic functions gives more information about these functions and the study guide more complicated functions shows you how to use these basic functions to make other more complicated functions. Identifying how a more complicated function is created from these simpler functions may help you to choose a more suitable rule to integrate that function such as 1 term by term integration, 2 integration by parts See study guide integration by parts. 3. Integrals which give natural logarithms. See study guide integration and natural logarithms. 4. Partial fractions. Or 5. Integration using a substitution. A crucial part of the methods given above is that at some stage they all involve integrating one of the basic functions. This study guide can help you with integrating these functions. You can think of each of these basic functions of x above as a template with numerical constants, a and n in the first, and a and k in the other four. If the function you are integrating fits one of these templates, then you can integrate it using the relevant rule given in this guide. This guide shows you how to match the function you need to integrate with the relevant template by finding the values of the constants a, n or k. All the integrals here are indefinite integrals and so will have a plus c at the end of the answer. The study guide What is Integration explains the terms and vocabulary of integration which you will see in this guide, including why c is added to the end of indefinite integrals. The results in this study guide are presented without any mathematical proof. However, if you are interested, a learning enhancement tutor will be happy to show you the mathematics behind them. 1. Integrating the power function y equals ax to the n. The study guide Integrating y equals ax to the power n covers this topic in depth and you should read this guide for help with using the following formulas which together are known as the power rule for integration. The main results of the power rule for integration are if y equals a i.e. a constant then the integral of y with respect to x equals ax plus c. If y equals ax to the power n and n does not equal minus 1, then the integral of y with respect to x equals a multiplied by x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. If y equals a multiplied by x to the power minus 1, then the integral of y with respect to x equals the natural logarithm of x plus c. Remember, you can always check your integration by differentiating the result and seeing if you get the original function. Integrating the trigonometric functions y equals a sine kx and y equals a cos kx. The integrals of the basic sine and cosine functions are closely linked. If y equals a multiplied by the sine of kx, then the integral of y with respect to x equals minus a divided by k multiplied by the cosine of kx plus c. If y equals a multiplied by the cosine of kx, then the integral of y with respect to x equals a divided by k multiplied by the sine of kx plus c. 
you should make a special note of the minus sign which is present in the integral of sine, but is absent in the integral of cosine. This is the opposite of the corresponding rules for differentiation. It is a common mistake to confuse these two sets of rules. A good way of avoiding the confusion is to learn the rules for differentiating sine and cosine and then use them to check your integration by differentiating back. As with integrating the power function, the key to successfully finding an integral using this rule is the identification of the constants a and k. Example, integrate y equals 3 multiplied by sine 2x. When attempting a problem like this, it is important to correctly identify the rule you need to use. Can you see that? y equals 3 sine 2x fits the first rule in this section with a equals 3 and k equals 2. If so, you can substitute these values into the rule to show that the integral of y with respect to x equals the integral of 3 multiplied by the sine of 2x with respect to x, which equals minus 3 divided by 2 multiplied by the cosine of 2x plus c. You can check this by differentiating y equals minus 3 divided by 2 cos of 2x plus c by using the rule for differentiating cosine. See study guide differentiating basic functions. dy by dx equals minus 1 multiplied by minus 3 over 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by the sine of 2x which equals 3 multiplied by the sine of 2x which is the original function and confirms that the integration is correct. When a and k are both equal to 1, you have two important special cases of the rule. The integral of sine x with respect to x equals minus cos x plus c and the integral of cos x with respect to x equals sine x plus c. 3. Integrating the exponential function y equals a multiplied by e to the power kx. If y equals a multiplied by e to the power kx, then the integral of y with respect to x equals a divided by k multiplied by e to the power kx plus c. The key to success in integrating an exponential function of this type is identifying the constants a and k correctly so that it fits the template. Example, integrate y equals e to the power minus 2x divided by 5. The function which needs to be integrated fits the pattern of the rule with a equals a fifth and k equals minus 2. So the integral is the integral of y with respect to x equals the integral of e to the power minus 2x divided by 5 with respect to x which equals 1 fifth multiplied by 1 divided by minus 2 multiplied by e to the minus 2x plus c which equals minus 1 tenth multiplied by e to the minus 2x plus c. You can check this by differentiating y equals minus 1 tenth multiplied by e to the minus 2x plus c by using the rule for differentiating the exponential function. See the study guide differentiating basic functions dy by dx equals minus 2 multiplied by minus a tenth multiplied by e to the minus 2x which equals 1 fifth multiplied by e to the minus 2x which equals e to the minus 2x divided by 5 which is the original function and that means that your integration is correct. The case when a equals 1 and k equals 1 leads to the interesting result the integral of e to the x with respect to x equals e to the x plus c. It is an important property of the exponential function that is identical to its integral plus the constant of integration. 4. Integrating the natural logarithm function y equals a multiplied by the natural logarithm of kx. The integral of the natural logarithm function is the integral of a multiplied by the natural logarithm of kx with respect to x equals a multiplied by x multiplied by the natural logarithm of kx minus x plus c. But this is not seen as often as the other integrals in this guide. Its derivation, however, is an interesting application of integration by parts. See the study guide, 
integration by parts. Further guidance and information. If you have any further questions about calculus or would like to discuss any other aspects of mathematics, you can talk to your lecturer or personal advisor or make an appointment to see a learning enhancement tutor in the Dean of Students office. Telephone 01603 592761 Email dos.help at uea.ac.uk or visit our website at www.uea.ac.uk forward slash dos forward slash let there are further resources on many other aspects of calculus, mathematics, statistics and science available from the Dean of Students Office and on its website. These include questions to practice, model solutions and webcasts illustrating essential skills.